first off? Because when you came out, you had knocked around, took some hits and everything. When Jarrett came in, he kind of had a rhythm. And you went to him, and the coach said, look, let's ride with Jarrett. He, he's got the hot hand right now with this. He gets big picture. It's not about me. It's about this team. Tonight, roles were completely flipped. You came in, drove the team down the field, and got an opportunity for a field goal to end up being the winning margin. Yeah, I mean, I think me and him have both handled this situation really well. And um, he's been there for me, and I've been there for him, and there's no uh, – awkwardness between us at all and we just we just both want the team to win so I think that's that's what it's all about and we're going to do what's best for the team. And DK we've been talking about this running attack and how it's just the maturation process and week and week how it's getting better. We've been in so many situations when we've had the ball in our hand with a chance to run the clock out. Talk about those back-to-back -back big runs they're just really eating up the clock where you really virtually gave it back to South Alabama with no time left. <clears throat> yes sir um, that was the goal to run out of clock like we did last week uh, against Texas State. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get it right there on that uh, third and sh second and short, third and short right there. But uh, I just appreciate my coaching staff like putting me in that situation to go get the tough yards for our football team. So, well, a lot of the same situations in the quarterback room with Gunner and with Jared, or in the running back room with you and Kamani as well too. Both of you guys have really now become a one-two punch and. How big is that for the growth of this offense as we enter the closing part of the season? Yeah, it's huge because you don't get a team that can just put all their focus on one back. They got to worry about me, Kamani, and even more uh, backs in the, in the running back room. Like, uh, this room is a very special group. Uh, so we're going to continue to get gro grow the running game and get better and better every week. I want to ask you both this question. I'm going to get to your response first, Gunner. Um, been around this program a long time. First time since 2018, bowl eligible. <laughs> but also another opportunity and another time you beat South Alabama. Talk about the importance of those two things tonight. Uh, yeah, I think bowl eligibility is special. I mean, because I didn't play in 2018, and um, now that I played this this season and we're bowl eligible, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy. Like Coach said after the game, we won a championship, and that's uh, first and foremost. And um, I'm just happy to be undefeated against South. DK, your perspective. Yeah, I, I, the last time I've been in the bowl game was 2018, and I was a – do a little old freshman there. Now I'm a fifth year senior. So it's just so amazing to get the opportunity to go to a bowl game. But the but bowl game is nice, but we want to go win the championship. So that's our goal to go go come with that uh, opportunity for sure. Right, I'm, I'm gonna answer the, the obvious what question. Are we doing? Ready for an off week? <laughs> We're definitely ready for off week. <laughs> we we definitely need it. <laughs> Alright guys, congratulations. Six and two on the season. More importantly, take over sole possession of first place yep. in the division of the conference. Enjoy your off week. We'll see you on the road again yes, November fourth. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, playing against South Alabama and I'm calling you Mr. Jackson. I just feel like instead of calling you TJ, the way you grind it through it is we won't talk about it. We'll talk off the air. I was like, whatever whatever medical assistance you got over there, I need some of that because you came back and dominated there in, that, in those last drives. But talk about the importance of that because you knew coming into this game, TJ, just uh, let's be honest how potent this offense was. Um, putting up over, over 600 yards last week against the winning ULM. How did y'all personally as a defense take this on as a challenge this week? Coach Summerall told us to come out with execution and effort, the two E's. He says, like he said, effort. I, it took a lot of effort for me to come back with a hurt ankle. And, I, and he told us to go all in, not just put a, not just put a foot in, but put your whole body in, go all in for, for this game right here. And Carlton, last time playing against South Alabama from your hometown, coming away with a W, how big is that? I know that feels amazing. I'm. I'm not even worried about the game, not a game. I'm ready to see my, my family. You know, I haven't seen them in a minute. But, you know, this is big. You know, I love just to bring home a win to Troy in front of everybody I grew up with. So, you know, it's just it's, it's kind of surreal. Talk about the offense tonight. You know, we, we talked about this a couple weeks ago when we were in the post game about it. it was almost, I think it was both of y'all that night, too, is how it's, it's one night it's the offense carrying the defense. Sometimes the defense carrying the offense. The last two weeks, the defense has really stepped up, but specifically tonight. Um, talk about the challenge um, of knowing that the offense, because you were playing a really good defense across the way, of knowing you were going to have to keep this team in the game. Uh, you know, we didn't look at it as we had to keep keep ourselves in the game. We just knew that we're in for a fourth quarter, well, four quarter battle, and you know we like games like this. The defense, we can flex our muscle a little bit, go out there. We want to be on the field. Six wins, TJ. That means bowl eligibility. And coach just showed you guys a T-shirt in the locker room, quickly it was thrown to the floor because that's one of the multiple goals. Um, talk about though, that that's significant this program, to get it back where it should be and that's in postseason for the first time since 2018, but a lot more bigger goals ahead for this team. Yes sir, uh, we're looking for a conference championship. 
the next one comes to us. So we're not, we're not after this game. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead, get back in the uh, playbook, get back in, in, in the film room, get, get ready for the next opponent. Carson, a week off. Actually, being a Thursday night, you get a week and a couple more days. How big's that? Uh, that's big. You know, we haven't had a bye week in, what, now? It's about to be eight weeks? Yeah. Yeah, about eight weeks we haven't had a bye week. It's good to, you know, get some of your legs back. But we're ready for the next opponent. We're going to put this game to bed. We're back to work Monday. Guys, congratulations on the victory tonight, taking Thank the belt you. back. Detroit, six and two on the season. Enjoy the off week. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we'll see you all next time. Yes, sir. Thank Appreciate you.